Hello everyone, welcome to day 27 of 30 day challenge of learning tablet from scratch. In this, in today's video, we are going to talk about set actions and parameter actions. So we're going to see few scenarios like the one that you're seeing on the screen. The first one is we'll start off with a very simple use case where, you know, based on my selected value, category value, I want my subcategory items to be popped up. So here I'm using my set in the view, if you observe. Second scenario is we are going to use it on color shelf and see how set actions perform. Based Based on my central region i'm getting the sales and again the other scenario is i am going to click on an icon and i want that on that value to be filtered again we are going to use set action in filter and we are going to see a use case on parameter where you know based on my selected value that value is being displayed on the screen okay so let us get started without wasting much time if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so the first thing that i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create a category set because we want to use that and i'm just selecting that click on that go to create and you can use create category set i'm just naming it as that and now i'm just bringing my category into view because i want that values to be included and i'm taking category set as well so as of now because i have not selected anything if you observe everything is out right now let us write a calculation here so what i'm trying to write is uh, set for category okay and if category is set then i want the subcategory items okay and i'm ending it okay click on apply and okay now i'm going to use this in the view okay so because i have not selected anything everything is null here let us customize our calculation i don't want null to be displayed instead of that i want blanks so i'm just calling that uh, category here this one i'm editing that else and okay now it is blank right now we will use a set action concept and we will pass value to that okay now when i click on the furniture automatically subcategory items for for furniture should be displayed now if i add lab sales to the label it is at uh, category level if you observe right so i'm going to worksheet actions now not dashboard actions okay and i'm going to add action because we want to impact our set i'm using change set values now when i do that first thing is you can name your set second what is the sheet that you want that to be impacted and how do you want to run the action okay like in our previous video we have discussed we can apply set actions in multiple ways either hover select menu and single select so i'm using select as the default option and just selecting single select what is my target set so what is our set we have created that under sample superstore and i'm selecting that now here there are two important options that you can choose from one running the action will so what do you want to do when you are applying this action assigning a values to the set adding a value to the set or removing a value from the set now second option is clearing the selection will what when you are not selecting anything what do you want to do keeping set values add all values or remove all values so for now i don't want any values to be selected when i'm clearing so i'm clicking on ok and ok now observe here when i select furniture item subcategory for furniture is being displayed here see when I select office supplies, subcategory for office supplies is being selected or displayed. Same likewise technology as well. But when I click on escape, which means when I'm clearing my selection, everything is gone. But if at all, I want to customize uh, like using arrow marks and all. Uh, I'm trying to write it something like this. Okay. So category using arrows just for illustration. If category set then i want to display so let us copy the icon here i am going to this and i want to copy this icon paste it here plus plus your 
category else it would be again side arrow mark for me okay paste it plus category and end it now see how beautifully this will behave in the apply in the view i'm taking this dropping it in the view okay let us hide this as well because we don't need it you can hide this as well now see here by default this is how the view will look if i click on furniture you are getting a down arrow and then you are getting subcategory for that likewise for office supplies it is behaving like this for technology it is behaving like this okay so this is our first use case of set actions which we have used in the view now let us look into other action so for that i'm going to create region wise i'm going to take region in the view here columns and i'm just going to use a, a dummy field like say average of one so that you know i get a a default bar chart okay so now what i'm doing is i'm going to create another sheet which is related to that so based on region selected i want subcategory items to be displayed so for that i'm taking uh, i'll write it here and i'm going to write sales or take sales here and i'm going to convert that into sum of sales sort it okay and because we want to use region i'm using region in the detail shelf so that whenever we are applying uh, actions it recognizes that or readers reads that value and i'm going to create a set on region okay so i'm going to region click on that field go to create option under that set maybe for now i'll select a set here send any one region you can select click ok and now what i'm doing is i'm taking this region and i'm dropping it on color shell now observe what is happening whatever the default region we have selected that is becoming true right because that is satisfying the condition all others are becoming out okay okay so i'm i'm just selecting others nothing is impacting as of now so let us create a dashboard on top of this okay and i'm going to add those two objects maybe we'll adjust uh, our height of the dashboard so that it doesn't look odd so this time if you see i'm trying to create a dashboard so because we are using dashboard i want to just customize this remove all the unnecessary information so that it does not make our view clumsy okay and uh, maybe we'll adjust our view increase the size of this and uh, maybe make it entire view as well okay so i'm just putting it something like this yeah we go to dashboard this is how it is looking fine now let us go to dashboard actions okay i'm adding another action change set values again because we are going to apply set actions so i'm choosing the two sheets i want to run my auction on select also selecting single select here what is your target set it is from this data source and a region set is the value okay so again when you're not selecting values remove all click okay okay now if i select east central east south and west okay nothing is happening as of now maybe okay so what do we need to do is we need to take this region and drop it on filter shelf okay so i think we missed that now observe here whatever the region i select for that particular region our subcategory item is being updated okay so maybe i'll just uh, not here maybe here i'll just display the value now you will observe for central region this is a sales for east region this is a sales for sub south this is the range okay so this is the second use case use case where we have used our set actions in filter shelf now we are going to see third use case where using icons will try to implement okay so i'm trying to create again category here in the view 
maybe i i want uh, you know sh separate shapes for that so i'm converting my marks into shapes and i'm taking my category and dropping it on shape so you can assign whatever the shapes you want i have some default shapes that i'm trying to ass assign it okay and for furniture i'm just using this for office supplies, I'm using this. For technology, I'm using this. So I have three images. I'm trying to use them. Okay, so this is something it looks like. Okay, and I'm just unchecking that. And likewise, I'm trying to create a subcategory view for this. Okay, sales. Okay, I'm going to swap it and sort it and make it sum of sales. That's the default aggregation we have. And let us create another uh, dashboard here. And this time I'm going to use these two in the view. Okay, likewise, same like how we have created. I'm removing this again, sorting it, adjusting the height that you need. Okay, if you're fine, it's fine. Let us uh, remove the titles here and here and remove all unnecessary items so that we don't add unnecessary items maybe i'll uh, increase the size here if we go to dashboard okay okay it is looking something like this maybe you can format it more taking some time okay now we need to again set up actions here go to dashboard actions again adding another action here change set values this time I want I have we have to select the right action. Again, go to sample superstore. What is the action that we have created? It was category set. So I'm create selecting that again. So you see you're getting an option missing field on sheet eight because we didn't add that. So Tableau will not recognize that we are using there. So I'm just using remove all values, click OK. For now, I'm adding it again. I'm going back here. So we need to add a category set into the view. Again, I'm adding it here. So if I go to dashboard, okay, so if I now, let us see if you are getting the error, like how we got earlier, edit it. So this is dashboard file. So still we are getting missing fields on sheet eight. Click okay. Okay, so we got that and uh, I'm also adding category to the detail shelf. Let us see if it is working. Now based on category selected, it is showing me the values for that. Okay, so this way you can use a set action for different use cases. Let us look into other value. This time what I want is whatever the, whatever my subcategory value is that i want to display in the view okay and i'm sorting it now whatever the value i select like say if i select is 330 i want that to be displayed in the view so for that i'm creating a parameter here so that it assigns that value and uh, i'm writing here as value Okay, click OK and I've created it. So again, I'm going to another sheet and dropping it on view. You can create a calculated field value and uh, dropping it into the view. Apply OK and drop that into the label. And uh, so it is trying to get aggregate. We don't want that. Okay, now it should show the value. Okay, alignment and all, I'm just trying to make it correct. Okay, so font size also we will adjust if it is needed. You can follow according to your dashboard design. Here I'm just showing you how Tableau will read the value of parameter. We are going to create another dashboard here and we'll add these two values so this i'm adding it here and this on the top 
okay again remove the titles that you don't need access that you don't need and uh, then go to dashboard actions add action this time i'm passing my value through parameter so i'm changing parameter same like how we can apply action on multiple levels over select and menu you can do that so instead of set you need to choose parameters from target parameter what is the parameter that we have created we have created a value as the parameter okay so what do you want creating clearing the selection how do you want that to impact so you want to keep the current value or set value to so let us uh, set value to so one so when i'm not selecting anything i want one to be displayed so what is your source field you can use uh, some of sales or value and uh, click ok so value is not being used on some so if i use sum of sales okay so it is not used on this okay so let us try to adjust this okay click ok so in sheet 10 if you observe we have used only parameter and not the aggregation so i'm using that here and uh, correcting the <coughs> aggregation likewise here i'm trying to pass the calculation here here into detail so both of them we are passing the value so now if i select this our action should be performed okay so let us uh, decrease the size here okay so go to dashboard actions parameter edit okay so i'm just using this okay okay now select this automatically it is performing so sum of sales is the measure that we are passing from this sheet to the parameter which is here again clearing the selection will reset it to one that is what we have set here okay so let us see again what we have done go to edit parameter so if you see here source field what is the source field this value sales you are assigning it to your target parameter okay and what is the aggregation you want that you are assigning based on that whatever you select from that it will be assigning it to that when you are clearing it what will happen it should be one so that is how you are setting okay so these are about parameter and set actions i hope you have learned something new in this video if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day